Hey guys, and welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So dropping in here with a couple of buddies. Um, so we've we've done we've done a couple rounds at this point, um, but yeah. So today I'm running uh, I'm running some light robots. I've had some really good games. So I mean, who knows if I'll even end up posting this one? But um, had some really good rounds and everything. And um, yeah, it's it's been tons of fun. I've, it's been refreshing to to be running these guys, and I've been uh, consistently getting. Um, players i've been checking bot levels and stuff after we're done that's my boy right there he's the reason for the season so this actually this works out great with this guy um, on my left that's also from his clan that's uh coming along with us uh, it's kind of working out because he's uh, he's rolling out in a gareth right now so let's go see if we can uh, harass some people but um but anyways yeah so it's, it's been really refreshing uh you know playing in, in gold tier with <laughs> light bots and stuff it's just a whole different dynamic to the game it's a lot of fun and i've actually had um, a lot of really solid damage games and everything, um, while also capturing like <laughs> like an average, I think, of like four beacons per game. So I'm seeing if we could. We've got a couple good candidates here. I think I saw two uh, Russian Death Button Griffins over here, which are uh, good candidates for this Thunder that I've got on here. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, that shoots is a really good candidate for my weapons. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, with the high surface area of the Griffins, that's a that's a good one for the shoots to. Uh, to uh, deal some damage to. I haven't been able to do... Hopefully we can uh, um, deal some more damage with this guy before uh, before I fully get taken out. Okay, so it looks like a plasma griff there. So hopefully, uh, again, another griffin. Lots of surface area to work with. There's actually this little spot over here. I'm going to see if I can tuck in here and just start shooting these guys when they spawn in. <laughs> I don't know that they'll be able to shoot me. I think I'm short enough. Let's test it. It's this spot right here. I think I'm short enough. <laughs> I totally am. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> yes, please. Please keep coming. Oh, that's splash damage, though. That's not cool. Yeah, and I'm to the point where my thunder's uh, cycling now for every two seconds. So, oh, looks like looks like we almost got him. My, my buddy there was able to finish him off, one of the guys I'm with. So, uh, it looks like we need to do a little bit of suppression. So, um, let's, uh, so it's a good thing I dropped into this. I, I really just kind of selected one of these at random. There was really no, <laughs> no strategy involved in that. Uh, choosing my next bot here um but yeah it looks like we'll need a little bit of suppression over here so we'll come in and grab this beacon since it's neutral right now and then uh oh nice that's okay damage there i guess oh and we got this leo coming in he'll be really good let's just uh get in and then we'll back right back off there we go and uh yeah dodge out of the way of his, his aphids there it looks like one of them hit me probably so when you're in a, when you're in a bot, uh, generally your best bet is going to be to run sideways uh, when there's aphids coming towards you because they don't track very well um, laterally like that. But um, when uh, when you're in like a Lancelot or something like that, and I've, I've got tons of footage of it, I just haven't shared any of it with you guys yet. Um, but when you're in a Lancelot, for example, like if if you just keep an eye out for aphids, if you just take like a single step back or even stop sometimes. Um, like even just the stopping will uh, help all of those aphids just to go into your shield. And I mean, that wears out your shield fast because of the amount of damage they do, but uh, it'll keep you from uh, getting taken out. You just take a quick step back in them. I'll see if I can post something like that. If that's something you guys are interested in, you know, in uh, learning how to protect your Lancelot a little bit better. I mean, I'm sure probably most of you already know uh, to do that, but I can, I, I've, I've got plenty of footage of it. I could maybe put a maybe like a montage together of like how to, um, <laughs> I guess, how to protect yourself from aphids. Um, I've talked about doing like an aphids tutorial and stuff and we can still see about doing something like that. But I think most people, since they're so bothered by aphids, I think most people would probably be more interested in um, how to uh, <laughs> use your knowledge of aphids against aphid users. <laughs> so, you know, like uh, in a Lancelot stepping back and stuff like that. So, all right, so we're doing pretty well here at uh, just keeping people at bay. Uh, my teammates are obviously very helpful, but I think we've been able to do some pretty solid damage here. So when you're right next to a structure, just like I was, make sure you take a step back um, when you're firing those aphids so that you don't hit the wall. Um, even though this wall is low, uh, so is my bot. So the, uh, especially the lower aphids, they could uh, launch straight into the wall. So just kind of take a step back before uh, getting up there. Yeah, with the Rhino, that shield does really well if you're if you're just hitting it like head on, um, it does a pretty good job at uh, deflecting that damage. So I'm just moving to the side here. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we did get a little bit more. Definitely not full damage on those, but 
Let's see if he'll drop his shield here. Okay, I think he did. I think he did drop his shield just for a second. Maybe he put it back up because I did some pretty solid damage there. Still have that fury over there, so I want to make sure to stay out of his sights. So make sure you're being aware. Like when you're not uh, working on somebody else, check ranges, check it where they're looking and where they're focusing. Yeah, like right there. <laughs> Spanking me with those tridents. I want to see if I can take him out. That'll uh, be detrimental to them and really good for us. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, I thought that I thought that was a Fury, that was a Carnage. I was like, man, that must be a low-level Fury, but yeah, it's just that Carnage, that's why I did so much. That guy should go. There we go, saved the beacon. There we go. Stupendous for the win. Uh, let's see if we can grab this guy really quick. Looks like he's not in the beacon range. He must be just outside of it. That, that stinks. Let's see if we can get this Griffin. He'll be a good target here. Uh, okay, let's wait for him to drop a little bit. Fire. And boom. So yeah, if you time that just right, uh, he has to stand still when he um, lands from that jump because the robot braces a little bit. Um, so that's a perfect time to nail him with the aphids because there's nothing they can do about it. So when you're timing it, like when you're, if you're watching a griffin jump and stuff like that, make sure you're uh, keeping that in mind because you're going to get a second there where you're going to be able to do max damage to him and you definitely want to wait for that. Okay, there we go. That was a good hit there. <laughs> so... Let's see, doing pretty well, uh, doing pretty well here with uh, with this guy. So, uh, let's see, oh. yeah, sorry, I had, to, I had to cut there for a second. I, I had a, had an accidental button mispressed, so I um, <laughs> had, to, had to get back to War Robots and then uh, get back on the screen there. I've got 217 hit points. Can still do quite a bit of damage though, with uh, even with just two aphids. These are level 10 aphids. Oh, that was close. That's something I wish I wish they would change, um, and I don't know if there's a way to do it, because like the, you know, the damage you deal is connected to your bot. But I wish that like after your bot's destroyed, I wish that the whatever you fired, I wish it would still keep doing damage or you know continue to its target. Oh, this guy's in a perfect spot. I think. Let's see if we can line this up. Can we do it? Oh, totally. Look at that draining. <laughs> and like he can't touch me even a little bit. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> that made me very happy. <laughs> um, all right, let's see if we can grab this guy a little bit. Let's let's get a couple shots into him, then I think we might go around his uh, his flank, so that we can uh, divide his attention maybe between me and uh, and a teammate. So I'll come around the side of him here, and then we'll just kind of keep track of some of these other guys around here. Uh, might take them out. Oh, I just realized my team is like mecking out. Well, let's get that shield up. There we go. Yeah, there's only three of us left. Um, maybe I shouldn't have been in that in that uh, Jeopard for so long. I thought uh, I, I think we were doing pretty well there. Maybe that's where we were needed the most. But um, I don't know. Maybe maybe we should have played that a little bit differently. You guys will have to let me know. Drop a comment below. Uh, this feels like a pretty good round. So uh, drop a comment below and let me know if you saw anything that I could have done differently there. Um, if I did stay in that a little bit too long, um, because yeah, that's easy to do when you're in those because you're you're basically just like a short range camping bot. So, um, oh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't notice that carnage over there. I was just I wanted to make sure that this guy didn't make it over to our side beacon, so I was just gonna pressure him. That was a bad call there, though. Yeah, <laughs> don't bother dropping that comment. I know that was a bad idea, <laughs> dropping it or uh, walking all the way out into open that way. You know what I should have done is I should have gone over to that side beacon over there. Uh, got a Raijin. That's not good. Stalkers and Raijins. Yeah, that's that's no bueno. I want to see if we can take this guy out here. Oh, maybe I should duck behind one of these uh, little things to my left. One of these like air intake things. Oh man, I'm getting shredded. But I didn't think that guy was close enough to do that much damage with those thunders. Uh, so I've, I've got this Fujin in here. I don't have any other light bots that are leveled sufficiently to be able to run in gold tier. Um, most of these guys are level 8 and 9, uh, the light bots that I have. Um, this Fujin is level 9, and I, I put the Fujin in because it's the same like height as a light robot when it's uh, not uh, engaged in its shield. Oh man, we're about to lose. You know what, I think some of that was my bad there. I think we did some pretty decent damage, but I think a lot of that was my bad. So, oh yeah, yeah, that's so this is my best game yet with, uh, with the light bots. So... Anyways, yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys saw anything that I could have done differently to bring that in for a win or or anything. But, yeah, pretty, pretty solid round for some white guys. So, anyways, uh, have a great day, you guys.